Well, I looked at it this way. You know, I um, was hoping today to get five out of RA, you know, six if things went well. You know, we did have a nice little lead. The way I looked at it, you know, we're starting to roll around that top a little bit. I mean, one thing I've learned over over the years, sometimes the best way to win games is don't let the team get back into it. You know, especially this, you know, this, it's our first go around with this kind of game, but I know what kind of offense they have. And so I was really focusing on Chu. You know, he hit him twice and he's hit him in his career. So what we didn't, didn't want to happen is a couple guys on base, Chu comes up. Now he, you know, RA, you know, has been known to give him some fly balls, launch it. You know, maybe if that should happen, now they're right back in the game. And, you know, I told Price today, you know, if we get you up, you're going in. You know, last night he was kind of up and down a couple times. We couldn't do that again. So, I mean, that, that all factored in, you know, put, you know, with the, uh, you know, Cecil down and Loop was out today, you know, and that left handed bunch there. Yeah, it wasn't an easy decision. It wasn't, uh, it was hard for me to do, but, I, you know, you know I, I thought that was the best way to win the game, keep them from coming back. Because that, uh, and even they came back a little bit late in the game and made it, you know, I made it. Reachable for him, and then of course you want to say Kansas City game too. You know how that works. So uh, yeah, that was that's what was behind it. We might have had an inning left anyway. We were kind of guessing, but yeah, not probably not a uh, relationship building move. <laughs> but a team win. That's what I look for. On the left in the back row, John. Uh, before the season ended, you were kind of emotional about your decision making with Mark Burley and, and that. Do you throw all that away come playoff time when, when you have to take R.A. out with one more batter and he gets a win? Well, yeah, you know, hey, I care. I, I care as much as anybody about individual accomplishments, you know, uh, you know, whether it's a save or a win or a home run or what, what it is. When it comes down to it, you know, my job is to manage a team and try to win the game. And, you know, all those things factor in. I thought it was the best move. And, uh, you know, probably not a popular move, but that, that's what you got to do. But if, you know, the situations, I mean, the regular season is different. That doesn't happen, you know. Uh, but this is a, you know, a do or die game for us. And I, I've seen it too many times in this business, you, especially with the kind of lineup and the kind of way, you know, things were stacking up for us. They strike, you know, a long ball, get a couple guys on a long ball. It's a totally different game. There's still a lot of game left. Fans get back into it, all that stuff. So, Jay in the back. With Price throwing 50 pitches now, does this mean that uh, Stroman's going to start game five and that Price will be available out of the bullpen? Well, yeah, he, yes. If, if David got in there at all today, Stroman's going to throw Wednesday, so that, yeah. Right here in the, in the middle, right? Sorry, John, i got to go back to Dickie one, one more time here. Um, I understand everything that you just said, but it was 7-1. Right. And he was one out away from the likely win. Um, so I'm still not understanding why. Is it the knuckleball that you didn't trust? Is it him that you didn't trust? And did he say anything to you when you came out to the mound? No, no, he was fine. You know, I even mentioned to him before, when he was sitting in the dugout the, you know, the half inning before he took, went back out there. No, really, what it came down, I was I was looking at with their lineup, what was going to happen. He had three, he had three guys before he got to Chew. Chew had been on him all day, and he's hit him his whole career. You know, and he can he can. And it's a great hit in park if you're a left-hander. It's, it's some easy home runs. And so I thought, you know what? If and if I got if I'm getting David hot, he's got to go in. So you know, if, and this is a situation. Maybe we eliminate them from getting you know chew on, and then you got you know Fielder and all those guys. So it was a method to the madness. I'm sure it's not real popular, but it wasn't about maneuvering to get a win for Price. No, it had nothing to do with that. We had, we had one lefty down there tonight, and it, you better take advantage of it at that point anyway. You know, and we were hoping he, you know if he gets it, he can run the game. You know. No, it's, no, that's no. I had zero to do with that. I don't think he needs my help to get wins. Yeah. John, is Price still available to you on Wednesday? Out of the bullpen? No, you won't. No, you won't see him now. Jason, to, to follow up on that, John, was there a point as that game was going along and Price was was in there <coughs> where was there a decision to make? Well, if I take him out at a certain point, I might still have him available for game five? Or once you put him in, did you figure this was going to be it for him? Well, what we wanted to do, you know, if we at least get him to you know, the last couple of innings, get him the eighth and ninth, where, you know, we had Sanchez. And, and a lot, lots based on, you know, our, our availability of left handers. And, and let's face it, you need some lefties against this lineup, really. Cecil was out. Loop had a family issue he had to deal with, so he wasn't around. You know, it was, uh, really, I thought, you know, I was just, 
I thought it was a pretty good strategy. It wasn't a popular one, but I thought that was the best way to go. You know, uh, and you know, it's all about winning. I thought, you know, I'm a lot. John, John, you mentioned the the Kansas City Houston game, and that I think that you know, did you see that score during your game at some point? Oh yeah, point? I, I caught tail in it before I went out there. Yeah, I mean, I mean is that even Mike? Oh yeah, you know, and uh, things happen fast, and sometimes, and I've I've, I've learned, I've watched enough baseball games, been involved enough, that sometimes the only chance you got to win is you keep the team from coming back in those lopsided games, and at, at that point too, our, our our offense, they were starting to hold our offense in check. We scored a lot early, but now the pitcher was pretty good. We, you know, we, you know, which you see a lot. You score a lot of runs early, and all of a sudden you, you dry up. That's just the way it goes. Next thing you know, a team flies back. So that's that's basically what it was. Ken? John, when you said it wasn't a relationship building, we were you talking about price. That was sarcasm. No, I know that. <laughs> you're talking about David or Dick? No, I'm saying I, I don't care. Whoever your starter is, if you yank him, you yank him one out of the way, I mean, that's a, uh, you know. David was okay. Coming in, and the way oh, he yeah. Was used. Yeah. yeah. In the back. Looks like it's Strowman and Hamels for game five. Thoughts on the matchup? Joe, yeah, just like uh, the second game at home. They both pitched great. You know, it turned out to be a 14 inning game. You know, a uh, tight ball game wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me one bit. Take uh, just a few more, one here on the right. John, you're going back home, which which hasn't been good so far in the series, but you've won two. You must like the position the team is in going back to Toronto. Well, yeah, yeah. The fact that we're going back is is everything. Yeah, and, and uh, you know we've been good at home all year. You know we didn't get you know those two two games there. We didn't play particularly well necessarily, um, but that's where we're at our best. And, and uh, that was a goal. You come down here, you know, hopefully get it back there. That's what we've done. So we'll see. Down here in the middle. John, when you saw those first three home runs in the two innings, did it feel like your team had finally showed back up? Yeah, call de definitely. You know, the, um, and it was some, some good hit, two opposite field home runs too. That's when you when we're really swinging it well. You know, we got guys. It means they're staying on the baseball a little bit. So, um, you know, Donaldson getting us, you know, really getting us on the board early, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's that's important. I, I think that was important in this game, just like I thought last night too. You know, when you're facing elimination, you know, you take the lead and. Makes it easier. Take uh, one more here, Jason. Uh, you mentioned Luke earlier. Uh, at what point did you know he wasn't going to be available, and do you know what his status will be for Game Five yet? Yeah, I mean, he he, he left before the game. Take care of something, and uh, yeah, I expect him to be back. 